What up guys, welcome back to my channel. This is KA Music Academy. I hope you guys are good. If this is your first time on my channel, please smash the subscribe button and smash the post notification bell. All right, without further ado, today's lesson will be on. So today we're learning how to play a Rema song again. This one is called Do Maybe. This is one of his older, uh, older songs, if I may say, and one of his popular songs, okay? So I hope you're ready to learn Do Maybe on the guitar. Let's get straight to it. All right, guys, so this song is a four chord progression. Right, and we'll be playing on the key of G. Okay, so I'll give you the chords and then I'll give you the numbers for those of you that love the number system, like me. I love the number system because it helps with like playing in different keys and all this stuff, right? Okay, so the basic chords that we're going to use for the beginners first. So I'll do a beginners and a, a chords for people that are already playing properly, or even if you're a beginner, you want to learn how to play the song in bar chords to make it sound better. I'll show you also. All right, so the first chord is going to be our C major. All right, don't panic. I'm going to have a chord chart somewhere here to make it easier for you to read and play with me, okay? So C major, that's the first chord. Then our next chord is our B minor, all right? Okay, so C major. B minor. Our next chord is our E minor. And then lastly, our D major. Okay, let's do it again. C, B minor, E, mi uh, e minor, D major. So, so. basic right the beginners this four chords you need to study these chords and i'll show you how we can play it when i teach you the strumming pattern or the finger picking pattern so the strumming pattern is pretty basic but the finger picking pattern is the best one that helps you like you know give it a flavor and stuff all right so now for those that want to play power chords and you feel like you're more advanced right so we're going to play the same chords but now we're going to play them as a power chord all right so our g is here right our g power chord is here <laughs> Right, G major. Now we're gonna play our four, which is our C. This is for number system, right? So four in this key of G, which is our C major chord. So we're gonna play C bar chord. Right? C. And then our B minor, which is our three. So now on the bar chord, I want you to play minor seventh, okay? If you don't know where your B minor is, you count with me. Third fret, fourth, fifth, sixth on your seventh fret. That's where your B is. So the same position for your G major chord. What you just do is when you slide your B, you just play this and then you just leave the thumb. So don't play the pinky and don't play the middle finger. Just play it like this. That's your B minor seventh. Right? And then just below it, the same formation as your B minor, as that the first B minor we played on the easy one, you just bring it down to play your E minor seventh. Right? And then your D major chord to end, which is your five. Right? So it's your four, three, six, five. So, right, it's the same thing as your, right, But you can see the bar chord one has more flavor to it, like so. So 
that's the whole song all right so this is the course that we need to learn number system it's your four your three your six and your five and always keep in mind is your three is your minor is always a minor right on the major scale your three is a minor your six is a relative minor your five is a major your four is a major so c which is your four b minor on the back we'll play b minor seven but on the normal one we just play b minor for beginners which is your three your six is your e minor but here we'll play on the back we'll play e minor seven instead of playing normal e minor and then lastly we'll play our five which is our d major chord and that's the chords for do maybe all right so now we're going to go to the finger picking pattern and then take it from there okay so now that we figured out the chords e minor so we, our chords will be c major b minor our e minor and our d major all right okay so now the next thing we need to do is our finger picking technique for the basic chords for our normal open string chords right the first one that we played for beginners all right so for your c major chord you're gonna finger pick from your fifth string so five four three all right so it's your a string your d string and your g string okay so it's, you do it like this right and then the next chord will be our b minor the same thing for the b minor right so c to b minor one again sorry let's do it again one more time then the next one will be our e minor open string right which is we're gonna pick from our sixth string going down so e a and d so remember our c and our b minor is the same which is our a d and our g then now on our e minor we're changing it we're finger picking our six which is our e a and our d and then the last one will be our d we'll pick from our so we'll pick our d our g so d g and b all right Right now, let's try to play everything together. Then I move to the same uh, to the finger picking technique for the bar chords. All right. So the normal one is the C, and our B minor is A, D, G. Okay. So then B minor, E minor, D. Repeat again. B minor, E minor, D again. for the whole song you just do that non-stop okay so this was for beginners for the opening right the first uh open chords like you try a d your you know e minor and your normal c you try a c also now we're gonna go to the bar chords all right so the bar chords are kind of similar it's the same thing so when you play your c bar chord you do the same thing you play for your normal c so it's your a string d string and G string so that's for your C then your B minor that we're playing on the bar chord here B minor seventh you just play from the way you strum your, your finger you finger pick your E minor from the previous one so you go E A D right so remember C bar chord was A D G right now your B minor seventh will be your E a D so right right and at the bottom is our E minor seventh where we do the same thing we did for our C bar chord where we finger pick our A D G right so and then our bar chord D the same thing we did for our E minor seventh 
So our C barcode, our E minus 7 barcode, and our D major barcode is the same finger picking technique. So we pick the same strings. The only difference one, like the only different one is our B minus 7 where we pick from our E, A, and our D. So you see, you pick your A, D, G, B minor, seventh, you pick your E, A, D, E minor seven, the same as your C barcode, you pick your A, D, G, and lastly our D major chord barcode. Pick the same thing as our E minor seven, which is our A D G. So if you were to play it, it should sound something like this. Right? Right? And this is how you finger pick the melody for. Do maybe and the strumming pattern is a basic one. The same uh, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. All right. So like I don't wanna teach that on all the videos. I think you should be able to know. So if you were to do that, uh, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. Right. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. So this is for if you wanna use it like in the chorus. Uh, Most important part for me is the bar chord finger picking. So, right? And that's how you play to me B by guess who? I'm just checking. So, this is to me B by Rema. I hope this video was helpful, right? And you can hear, and I'm sure you can play the song properly now, right? If this video was helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.